gonna go through a quick overview of how to use iMovie. So this would be like, I'm gonna go through about 10 different steps so you can learn the basics. First thing you wanna do, I would recommend by double pressing the home key, just close all your apps that you have open. And that'll give your iPad a bit more room to sort of uh, use its memory for the for, for iMovie. Your next step, you open up iMovie, like so. And this is your main iMovie window. So you'll notice at the top you've got video, you've got like three tabs, and this is where you can scroll through all your different videos that you have on your iPad. Then you've got projects. This is where you store all your different video projects that you have on the go. And then the final one, we've got Ferta. And this is basically where you, you can come back and view um, completed films that you've made. That's the three main windows for iMovie. First thing we want to do is we want to create a project. So just press the plus sign. And it'll come up on the screen, uh, do you want movie or do you want trailer? Well, you don't really care about making a trailer right now, so just click movie, straight in. And you'll notice that you've got all these different themes. Um, I'll go through all these in a later video, but basically all we want is select simple. So you want to keep it nice and simple so we can put our own mark on the video. And then in the top right hand corner, press create. And straight away we're in. We're into, um, the main program for iMovie on the iPad. But you'll see three windows. You've got here in the top right hand corner, this section is where you keep all your media. Um, you'll notice that it's got three tabs for that. So you've got media, you've got video, you've got photographs and audio. Next door, um, this is the preview window and this is what where you'll actually be able to watch your video playback. And just below that is the timeline. And this is where we'll take sections of clips, sections of audio, photographs uh, from, the, from the panel here and drop them into the timeline and actually arrange and create our video. So I'm gonna select the video clip Press the downward arrow button and you'll see it drops straight into the timeline. And you can just move it around like so. Okay, I'm gonna get another clip. Uh, let's go for this one here. This time I'm gonna trim it because I don't wanna use all of the clip. So I'm trimming the head and I'm trimming the tail. So the head is where it starts, the tail is where it ends. So I'm not using the whole clip here, I'm just using a section of that video clip. And again, just press the, the arrow down, like so. Let's find another one. Um, let's go for this one here. Okay, so now we've got three video clips down in the timeline. I might want to go in and, you know, see a bit more detail. And I can pinch out to zoom in, like so. The next stage uh, I'm gonna go through is how to trim your clips on the timeline, uh, how to do a split, and how to delete clips. To trim a clip, let's have a look at this clip here. So you notice there's a bit of a shake in that clip, so I wanna trim it. So first of all, select the clip, and then the yellow bars, it's like yellow handles either end. If I just press down and drag, and I'm just gonna drag it to where the camera settles a bit more. Also, it's quite a long clip, so I want to select the clip, drag the tail as well. And that is how you trim a clip. Make the clip longer, you can make it shorter. So it's not just about reducing the size. Right, next bit I'm gonna show you is how to split a clip. So you basically might wanna slice a clip into two clips. So select the clip, and in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the options split 
attach, duplicate, delete. So all you do, wherever that playhead is, is what we see above in the viewer, by the way. So let's say we wanted to split it there. So select the clip, make sure the player's positioned where you want the split to happen, and then press split. Okay, so let's say, for example, I wanted to delete the first half of that clip, or delete any clip for that matter. You select the, the clip that you want to delete, and then you press delete, which is at the bottom. Delete button there. You can undo this, because um, you might change your mind, so you might go, well, okay, I want to undo that, and you'll see underneath here, you just press there, and it'll undo what you've just done. Let's say I wanted to move a clip, this clip here, and I wanted to move it to the beginning. I just press on the clip, you see it jumps up, and you'll notice the playhead is following my finger around, and basically wherever I let go, and where that playhead is, is where we can the, the clip will drop. So let's say I wanted it in between these two clips, if I just drop, just drops in like that. Let go, it just drops in like so. But in this case, let's say we want it at the beginning there, so we just drop it there. It's, it's as simple as that, basically. Transitions. First of all, let's, let's just play back what we've got. So there's the video. And you notice how it fades between each, each clip. So, if I just zoom in here so you can see a bit more. These boxes in between, these are called transitions, so in this case it's a, a crossfade. And you can have different kinds of transitions, so the best way is to show you. So if I just select it, and when you select that box between the clips, uh, these options come at the bottom. So, for example, um, it's set on dissolve, but let's say we wanted to do a slide. If I select slide, if I just play that back now, you can see it's a slide and transition. Uh, in this case, um, I might go, well, I don't want any kind of transition, I don't want it to uh, slide, I don't want it to dissolve, so you've got an option to have no transition by just selecting knob, like so, so it'll just be a straight cut. Okay, so that's transitions. You might notice at the top it's got My Movie 1, so I'm going to want to change the name of this video project. And I'm also going to want to export it. What we need to do is we need to go to the project information panel. And the way to do that is if I just select this arrow key. And this is my project information window. And to change the name, you just simply tap where it's got the, the word in, the text. And I'm just going to call this test2, because I did it in the test before. And I click done. And you'll notice also, um, within this window, I'm going to go through this in a bit more detail in other videos. Uh, in the middle, there's an icon, this one here, you tap there. And this is for exporting your video. So in this case, there's all kinds of different options. You know, you've got Facebook, YouTube. But for now, just select Save Video, like so. And it'll come up. Um, medium large hd 720 hd 1080 in this case i'm just going to export it as hd 720 select and you'll notice like a bar going across okay export and it comes up and it's finished this movie was exported to your photo library and just click ok now if i come out of iMovie and i go to my photo library Select. And you'll notice at the bottom, there's the video. So if I press play, obviously I've just been shown an example of what you can do, so it's not a particularly good video or a particularly good edit. But the whole idea is just to give you a feel. So what I want you to do is I want, I want you to get some of your clips together on, on your iPad and have a little play with some of the techniques.